Today I'm listening to Dimash Kudabergen sing a duet, Drunken Concubine and Diva Dance. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. If working on your voice in 2021 is one of your goals, I hope you'll get my free 5 Days to a More Powerful Voice e-course. It's 5 free voice lessons that come straight to your inbox, and you can get all those details in the description box below. Now let's get started. So I'm on a Dimash bender. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say it that way, but I have realized I'm very far behind on listening to Dimash Kudabergen, and I want to remedy that immediately. This is a duet that Dimash is doing with Chinese opera star Li Yugang. He is known for his ability to do a style of opera called Nan Dan, which is where a male opera singer plays the role of a female. Now we all know how well Dimash can sing and how he can do any role he would want to, but I'm really interested to listen to this new vocalist as well who specializes in singing female operatic roles, Chinese opera. So without further delay, let's dig in. So this is my first time to hear this, obviously, but I have heard the song Diva Dance before in the movie The Fifth Element. Bruce Willis is sitting there just transfixed and mesmerized by this alien who is singing this incredibly powerful opera song. It is just an incredible moment because you also have, at the same time going on behind the scenes, this fight that's happening and it's happening in time to the music. It's really quite striking. What's interesting about Diva Dance is that Eric Serra, the man who composed the film score and composed this song for the movie, he wrote it to be unsingable at parts for the human voice. And when they had the lady come in who was to play the voice, she was an Albanian lyric soprano, she actually sung 85% of it and shocked his socks off that she was able to do it. But then he also sampled her voice and did some really cool things with it too. I really encourage you to go watch the original um, version of this from the movie The Fifth Element. It's on YouTube and I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description box below. Okay, enough about that. Let's get into this version from the Peking Opera. Wow, really interesting. It's fun because you can really hear the different timbres of both these gentlemen's voices. Lee has a very light, airy, ethereal kind of sound. Dimash has a little more meaty sound. It's, his sound has a little more meat on its bones, so to speak. And so it's just really fun. It's really interesting because the human voice is like a fingerprint. Everybody's voice is unique. And you can really hear that when you have two singers up singing near each other like, like these two gentlemen are. Fascinating.
I've got to stop. I'm like so far over, you guys. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to go back and deconstruct this one just because I want to listen to it about 10,000 times more. Wow. It's just like watching two incredible tennis players just volley back and forth and seriously, it is so satisfying to watch both of these guys sing. My heart rate is elevated right now, okay? <laughs> it is so exciting. I love how they are just sparring almost, you know, and they're holding their own. It's so fun because it's not like they're trying to compete with each other. They're just having fun. They're just walking in their glory. And how fun must it be to be able to sing with someone else who can do something similar to what you do? I mean, that is really incredible. I am so excited about this. Oh my goodness, you guys have been telling me about this one for a long time. I'm really, really sad I did not watch this sooner because this is adding so much joy to my life. Okay. sound real. <laughs> Incredible. I love the effect he's bringing to his sound. It's almost like a character voice. He's singing in this very affected way and I really love it. To me it's like showing his range, Lee's uh, range, and I'm so impressed by it, truly. I love all the bends that Chinese music has in it, the the little, um, they sing in the cracks. Again, I've talked about that before. As an American, we don't do a whole lot of that, maybe with some of our riffs and runs, but it's definitely something you hear more in Asian music and Middle Eastern music. And so it just, I'm enthralled, truly. I love this so much. It. I love the staging. I love all the fans and the dancing. It's so incredibly beautiful, really beautiful. It's also just really fun to see, again, Dimash and Lee just going back and forth and bringing out the best in each other's voices. Really, that's what a duet is supposed to do. So this is just divine. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys, let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. Well, this is what happens when you have two singers who are at the top pinnacle of their careers and they get together and it's just like spontaneous combustion. <laughs> So in the clip we just saw, they're singing in their mid-ranges and you can hear the delicacy of Lee's sound and Dimash has, like I said before, a little more of a meaty sound to this part of his voice. And then this is where the fun begins. This is like being on a ride at an amusement park because there's so many 
twists and turns and surprises around every corner, starting with this growl sound that Dimash brings at the beginning of this next section. This growl tone is new to me in Dimash world. I only just heard him sing this on the last video I did, which was No from the Arnau tour. And it was just fascinating to me. So it's really fun to hear him down in that growly kind of sound. But then the real ride begins when they head straight into Diva Dance. like this song, Diva Dance, is the perfect vehicle for Lee's voice. It really shows what he does, what his expertise is, and he is just in his element. He is in his element in this song. But Dimash is not to be outdone. passage of music is so incredible and Dimash so masterfully sings all of the note changes required in this melody line including the staccato notes. Did you hear those? It's the ones where he's singing <laughs> Staccato notes are sung from the belly for sure. That's where the energy is coming from to make them short and crisp. Let's listen to him sing it one more time. But before we do, I also want you to notice how he ends this section as well. He goes down into his low voice. This entire passage is just mind-blowing. So did you hear him singing that bass line as he's ending this little section before Lee takes over? Let's listen to that part just one more time. I mean, it just shows his incredible range, what he's able to do, and the flexibility he has vocally. This passage is so impressive. But then we get into this very good-natured sparring section where they go back and forth. It is just incredible. I'm so excited to listen to this part again. I have to stop here before we get too far into it because I just noticed Dimash is just like, yeah, come at me, bro. You know, <laughs> it's just so awesome. This is just, there's so much about this that I just absolutely love. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Let's go back. We're going to watch this sparring section for reals. I mean, come on. That is some incredible singing by both of these people. So let's talk about the whistle tone that Dimash pulls out here. You have educated me that that is what he does. He did it in another song and I can't remember the name of it right now, but I will put a card up here for that video. And it is just absolutely incredible how high he's singing. Literally, I think dogs can hear it only or whales, something like that. It's like sonar kind of level. It's so incredible. Lee is absolutely delightful here in this section as well. I just love how they're just volleying back and forth. This is just like a vocalist's dream come true. And for voice lovers like me, it, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I 
I don't even know what's going on in this section right now, but all I can say is my heart is very happy because I love it. I love it so much, I want to watch it again because you've got the contrasts of the two voices. Dimash is doing that low slide up into his upper register and Lee is just making these amazing sounds. I'm assuming he's saying something in Mandarin. They're both singing in Mandarin. I wish that I could f have found a video with um, English subtitles, but the one that I was looking for, I think, has been taken down. So I'm not quite sure exactly what's being said right now, but I just love the contrast of the low voice that Dimash is doing, low to mid to high, but then Lee is really high and making these very whimsical sounds. It's just so incredibly fun. so cool this whole contrast between the two voices but also like musically it's so amazing you've got this techno-y dance beat going you have this operatic thing that Dimash is doing and then you have this really whimsical thing that Lee is laying on top of it it's it's so it's just mind-blowing. I'm so excited. I've got chills upon chills as I listen to this the third time and I'm going to probably go back and listen to this th whole thing again once I'm done filming here because you got to listen to it, the full scope of it, without somebody talking and deconstructing it. It's just divine. It's truly incredible. Again, the contrasts are so incredibly beautiful. I love Dimash singing in his full voice here. And you've got Lee doing what he does best up in that upper register. It almost sounds like he's got some sort of a synthesized flange or something on his voice, but that's really his sound. It's just absolutely incredible to hear the contrasts of those things happening at the same time. It's so beautiful along with everything happening in the staging. It's really moving. What I truly appreciate about this video is the mutual admiration you can see between these two musicians. They obviously revere one another and respect each other's musicianship and what each other brings. It is really powerful. <laughs> love to know more about Lee and music that he's done before. If it's something that you would like to see on this channel, leave a comment down below. Where do I go to next to listen to more from Lee Yugong? Can I just tell you how much I love what I get to do? I love the voice. That's why I started this channel. I love being able to be transported through the internet to other parts of the world, especially right now, as I have not been going anywhere like all of you and that makes me sad. So today I got to go to Shanghai and be transported to this incredibly beautiful place that music takes you to. It's so powerful and so lovely and so I just want to say thank you to Dimash and Lee for giving me this opportunity today. It was sublime. <laughs> Well,
Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Dimash Kudabergen and Lee Yugang. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at The Voice Love Company, and now on yzo.com. Get all those details in the description box below. I just want to remind you that you have been called, and you know it, that little feeling inside of your heart that says, I know I'm here for a purpose. That's real. That is a real thing. And at some point, we are going to be able to get out. We are going to be able to go travel. We are going to be able to get up and do the thing that we feel that calling to do. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting. Literally, somebody is praying that you will show up. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys.